good afternoon, good night, wherever you are in the world. Today, I am not, I'm no longer a deadbeat. I am no longer being a deadbeat. And I've decided that I am going to film three videos today. That is my goal. I want to film three videos today. I want to get this Monster High stuff out of the way because it's making me very, very anxious at like how many box, like inbox dolls I have. It's, it's just making me very anxious. And then knowing that new Monster High is coming out and there are dolls that I like. So that's, that's just gonna pile up along with the other inbox dolls that I need to unbox. So this is all just, mm, mm. I hate this process because if I wish I didn't like everybody. If I didn't like everybody, then I I feel like I, I'd be in better shape because I wouldn't have to sit here and get everybody. But anyways, a long little two minute rant out of the side, out of the way. Here's Miss Cleo. Um, quick look at her box. It does have her beautiful artwork here and um, her little new dog tut it's not a dog it's, a, it's another animal but dog i call it an egyptian hound but that's not what it is um here are some like iconography that is specific to her i wish she actually did have nails that would have been cool here's the back of her box and it shows that she is a fabulous mummy for her monster type her monster must-haves are her sarcophagus and pyramid backpack and then her monster pet is tut i think she's absolutely gorgeous so let me get her out of the box for you guys all right so here is miss cleo out of box and i really really like her i mean i liked her before and all that stuff but i love her uh she's really cute um let's just get started as per usual with the Monster High series, and hopefully I can do this more going forward, I will be starting from left to right. Um, we're gonna be getting to her accessories, then her, and then her pet, and uh, other items that she comes with. Um, yeah. Oh, I also will be doing a comparison of, if I like her, of her next to her ghoul spirit version uh i think that she's darker than her and i think i'm correct and even by looking at uh uh the new the new version of her what is it those uh skultimate secrets uh Cleo. She looks even darker than both of them. I like that skin tone the best for her just because it matches the animated counterpart a little bit more. But yes, let's get into her. Uh, so here is her. We're going to start first start with this. This is her canopic jar water bottle. I absolutely love this. This looks like it has Ra on there engraved and it's wrapped. Um, it has a little finger hold for her and a little uh, hand hold and it opens. I love that. And it's like fully empty and stuff. I like this. Um, canopic jars were used in Egyptian culture. Oh, it has a little raw head too. Canopic jars were used in Egyptian culture to store the uh, person who was being mummified uh, uh, organs. Because when a body is the king and dying and all that stuff, the organs are what uh, produces that really uh, bad smell. So Egyptians formed a uh, primitive version of embalming fluid, which helped the bodies keep longer in order for them to kind of like prune up and like wrap them up and stuff. And they also figured out a way to be able to take all the organs out. So the organs are were all removed and then they were put into these little canopic jars um, just because the Egyptians believe that when you're going to the afterlife, you need everything with you and you are buried with what you want to take with you. As in like, okay, um, Cleo could have been buried with all of her jewelry, with all her dresses and all of these different things that she wanted 
to, you know, bring with her into the afterlife in that sense. But yes, mini history lessons uh, away. That is her little canopic jar. Here is her makeup compact. I really like it. It's in a, uh, a diamond shape. It's a diamond cut shape, but it's more the color of jade. And then inside it, she has a more of a mauve, uh, a mauve pan and then two uh, cerulean pans or more of like an electric blue and then like this is kind of like a jadish color. Um, I would have liked uh, electric blue, jade and then a mauve. I would have liked this a bit better if it matched her makeup that she actually had. Um, we will get into that later. It does have a little finger hole for her, so that's nice. And here is her falafel euro. People really kept calling this a burrito and a wrap. It's not. It's a euro. Or a, no, it's not pronounced gyro. I'm not even going to perpetuate that. It's a euro. I love it. It's really cute. I like the little mummy wrapping detailing on there. Um, it fits her. It fits her. Because... Uh, <laughs> Technically, Cleo Denial did have a little relationship with Julius Caesar, so mm, a little bit of Grecian influence. And here is Miss Gorgeous Girl herself. She really perplexes me. Um, first, let's get into her little phone and glasses. So this is her cute little phone with the iconography that is exclusive to her. It has her little old icon on it and everything. On the back, we do have Anubis on there, which looks nice. That's who it was. This isn't, this isn't raw. This is Anubis. And then here are her glasses. Um, I think, I might be wrong, but I think these are Skull Shore glasses. Um, I'll put like a big yes if they are. But um, I might be wrong though. But I think these are the sculptural glasses. All right, but here she is. She's absolutely gorgeous and perplexing. Like, okay, first let's let's get into this uh, headband. It's a it's a little fan headband. I I did not do any research to figure out what this is from and what this represents. But this is, you know, what it is and what it looks like. It's cute. Um, definitely going to rip that off immediately. All right. Yeah. So it's now that it's off, we can look at the very, very perplexing part for me. So here is her hair. And now I get why everyone is really, really fully stumped by whatever her hair is. Um... Sadly, I feel like I am going to have to report on the team of polypropylene. Her hair definitely feels like nylon, but it's a lot. It's it's super high quality polypropylene, if it is indeed polypropylene. Um, it's so, when I tell you it's soft, I'm talking about like, like if you ever had a saran hair doll that had really, really dry hair, that's what this feels like. But I'm not saying her hair is dry. In fact, it's very like, it feels moisturized, it feels soft, but I can tell that if this was like high quality Saran, it would, it would feel like miles better than this. And the reason why I can say that is because her, um, a quick comparison is that yeah, she's slightly darker. Her uh, ghoul spirit version actually does have saran. Like, I can say with the full chest, like, this is saran. This is definitely saran. And this does not feel like that. This feels like, it feels like the nylon, it feels like a lower quality version of rainbow high nylon. But it still feels great. Like, I feel like I can boil this. I feel like I can curl this. I feel like I can do whatever I want with this. And it will still act right. I don't know what type of uh, polypropylene they use for her. But if they're going to continue using that for her, they need to um, make sure they keep using this standard. 
because this standard is absolutely amazing. I wouldn't have a problem with polypropylene if it was like this, because this feels great. I genuinely cannot tell if it's like, I, I couldn't tell at first if it was saran or polypropylene. I really couldn't tell. And especially with the new information that I got about, you know, just the insiders from like the, uh, influencer thing with Mattel that this being polypropylene kind of follows under the line of what they were saying. They wanted to use um, polypropylene for hairstyles that were that needed to be vibrant colors with straight hair. Why did they you choose to get po Claudine polypropylene? I, I don't know because she definitely does not have straight hair in none of her prototypes, even like the early, early prototypes, she always had curly hair. So I don't know why they chose that, but yes. Uh, I think I can confidently say she has uh, polypropylene, but it's ultra high quality polypropylene. Like, no, it definitely cannot give Rainbow High hair a run for its money, but it can give, it's, it's good. It's really, really good hair. I know I'm spending a long time talking about the hair, period, but it's good hair. I just wanna, I just wanna emphasize that. It's good hair. I guarantee you that it, you would not, you'd be like, oh, wow, it is, but it's good. I'm surprised. I'm genuinely surprised at how good her hair is. But here is her beat. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, one thing that I thought was going to be so much more like difficult or different to adjust to was the uh, blue pupils, but they're actually pretty easy. Like I did not really, I really forgot about them until like I literally just looked in the camera now. But her makeup is really nice. It's a gold inner corner and it uh, transitions out to a blue on the top. And then at the bottom uh, for her waterline, it's reversed. She has an eye of the little eye force um, liner on this side, and then she just has an extra like long liner streak on this side. She does have the little uh, Egyptian eye, uh, cat eye piece, which is cute. And she has a golden, a uh, metallic gold uh, lip streak. Um, some people are saying this is a lip ring, but I don't think so because looking at the animated version, this is also just a gold streak on her lip. It'd be cool if it was a lip ring, though. I can I can see people just being like, mm, my head cannon, uh, my head cannon says it's a lip ring. Good for you, babes. Good for you. That's all I can say. Anyways, here are her little uh uh triadic earrings. They basically look like a uh a right triangle because this is definitely 90 degrees and then I saw sleeves. I love geometry. That's the only math I could be good at. <laughs> Nothing else. And then here is her like atrocious outfit. Um, after seeing the Cleo music video, this amulet kind of gives me, like I understand why she has the amulet and what it's for now. Um, so I appreciate it a little bit more. Um, but what I don't appreciate is her sleeves. I still don't like her sleeves. I don't, no matter how much I try, I'm literally really, really trying hard to like the sleeves. It, it's not, it's not working for me. It's a printed detail of, um, all over of wrappings. Um, she has a little eye of Horus belt that has a... Uh, probably lapis uh, chains and gold chains going all the way down. She has this really uh, nice like lapis blue uh, color scheme. It's like a lapis blue gold and then a hint of like a little um, uh, orange red or red orange color. Um, it's really pretty. She does have like little hieroglyphics going all the way down her dress on one side. And then the other side is solid. This uh, print does continue to the back, so that's good. Um, I personally like it. I think it's done well. Um, 
But I do feel like she is kind of the weakest when it comes to bang for your buck. Just purely because everything that she has on is printed on. And she doesn't come with anything like that makes it worth it. Her boots are absolutely atrocious. I just hate how thick they are. But I absolutely like looking at her boots in person more and like feeling them and stuff. I like the toe cap and the soles. I just don't like this part because I feel like given that it's wrappings, <gasps> these should have been fabric. I feel like they should have waited just like, I, I kind of feel the same way with uh, Coffin Bean Frankie, but we'll get into that in her video. I mean, their video, <clears throat> my bad. Uh, but with Cleo's boots, I feel like uh, they should have waited to try something like this, just because this clearly, 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 clearly would have eaten if it was a uh, fabric. They could have gotten some like this, like they could have used this exact fabric as like the shoe fabric to go up her thighs and then just use the toe cap and sole and just use the toe cap and the sole to make her some really cute fabric boots. My Cleo does have a little paint stripe on her leg. I don't know why, but she does. Um, she's pretty cute though. I genuinely do really, really like her. Um, I hope that if anybody, you know, wants her, I hope everybody gets her hands on her that gets their hands on her that actually wants her. Uh, just cause she's super cute. I highly, um, I highly recommend her, but I would say <laughs> get Laguna first just because she does come with two outfits for the same price. Um, and then get, uh, get Cleo. Here is her littlest pet shop pet. I feel like Tut looks the best out of all of them though. Um, Tut is a very beautiful metallic blue and gold. And they have these really nice lapis eyes with a little uh, crown on the top of their head and the uh, little Egyptian royal thing, head crest. That's what I'm gonna call it. Cause that's what it kind of looks like. Here is her backpack. It does open from the front with a little clasp at the top. With a little clasp at the top. Oop, there we go. And these three beetles are able to come out. They're like little charm things that are stuck in here in the back. Same with her uh, straps. If you, you probably sh can push her little straps out. Um, to be honest, I feel like this should have been like a purse. And of course now it's not gonna be able to close. There we go. I feel like this should have been a purse instead of it being like a bag. Or, ooh, actually, actually, can I stretch this? No, no. I thought I could stretch it out to make a purse. But nope, um, I'm not gonna fully put this back in here because since she came out the box like this, I'm gonna try to see if I can push the other two out in the back and make this into like a little clutch purse, like a little really gaudy big clutch purse, cause that'd be cute. Here is her absolutely atrocious jacket. I personally don't like this just because of how it's just so dull. It's really dull compared to all her, like the rest of her outfit and it makes the rest of her outfit look more dull. I don't like that. Um, in videos, I hated the way it looked. It looked cheap. Um, don't get me wrong, it looks cheap now. This is clearly like some little like two cent fabric that they printed on. This is like cheap, but it feels a lot better in person. Like it feels like a like jacket fabric, if that makes any sense. Like if, I don't know, it feels high quality than, cause this feels like fishnet. This feels like they printed on fishnet. This feels pretty good. The fabric that they used to print on, it all feels nice and they're all actually different textures. Like this feels like fishnet, this feels like 
high quality printed on fabric and this one feels like a the best I can say is like a jacket or a jean. Jean, that's probably what this is. This is probably white jean that they printed on or like a cheaply made like faux jean that's white that they printed on. But it feels good, weirdly enough, for it to be printed. But yeah, this is, you know, her little jacket. I'll put it on her when I do my final thoughts. All right, here she is in her little jacket. Um, it kinda is a tight fit, but it's also not. Um, so for me, in the sense of it, it's a good fit, but when you put her sleeves on, it kind of like ruffles in, like her long sleeves get kind of stuck in there. Um, it's enough room for you to be able to pull the sleeves down. That way it'll, you know, fit nicer and like be, you know, what you'll be able to bend her arms and stuff. I can bend her arms, but they're not gonna stay as if, you know, she had no sleeves on and all that stuff. Um, I feel like they probably either should have made the sleeves bigger um, or took off the long sleeves on this dress and just made this like a little halter dress or tube top or something. Um, just because, I, I don't know. But it's, it, it's a cute on her. It looks a lot better than I thought. Um, I'm, I'm genuinely surprised at how like decent it looks. Um, I do plan on cutting her sleeves off and I think I might make her dress shorter. So that might help the jacket fit on her a bit better anyways. Um, but yeah, I like her. I think she's very, very cute. I'm very happy to have her. Um, I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about her. Like, do you plan on getting her? Are you kind of disappointed that she has polypropylene, even though it's great quality polypropylene? Oh, I almost forgot. Skin comparison. So... She looks to be about the same. She's just a tad bit darker. This one looks more red and darker than this one. But on camera, they look the exact same. Wow, that's kind of crazy. They look yellow on camera, but in person, they're like red. They, they have red skin in person or they look more, you know, red undertone in person. But yeah, um, are you disappointed that she has polypropylene hair, even though it's amazing? I, I'm not even lying to you. It's like the quality of the polypropylene is genuinely good. It surprised me. I thought it, she was gonna have like really bad hair, but apparently it's really good quality. So I'm surprised about that, happily happily. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I hope you guys have a great night, afternoon, or morning wherever you are in the world. And bye.